Hi everyone, welcome back to Food Feeds. In this video, I'm going to talk about carbon dioxide scavengers as well as emitters, which is a part of active packaging systems. In the previous video, I have covered oxygen scavengers and a brief note on active packaging systems. So if you haven't watched it, uh, please do watch it. And I hope you have a pen and paper with you so that by the end of the video, you have notes on this carbon dioxide scavenger and emitters, which will be very helpful for you during your exams or for any revision purpose. So let's begin. So here the term scavenger stands for the one which removes a particular gas or the substance and emitter is the one which adds or releases that particular gas or the substance. So if there is a food product where the presence of carbon dioxide or the absence of carbon dioxide doesn't matter, which means like it doesn't have any effect on the shelf life of that product, then the presence of these scavengers or emitters are not necessary. But there are products where these presence are highly recommended. For example, if there's a product where the high level of carbon dioxide might affect the shelf life of the product, then scavengers are used to remove it and balance the proper composition of the gas so that the shelf life is not hindered. Whereas if the presence of carbon dioxide is making that particular product uh, to stay for a long period of time, then uh, the carbon dioxide emitters have, are used because uh, the gas composition will not be similar in any packaging material, right? So it, it goes on changing. So in that such cases, these emitters are used. So let's see with an, taking an example of particular product. Uh, so mainly the application of carbon dioxide scavengers includes the coffee, cheese, as well as fresh and dehydrated meat and poultry products. Let's uh, now talk about coffee. So we all know that uh, the freshly roasted coffee or the ground coffee, uh, these coffees cannot be left unpacked because it will quickly absorb the moisture and oxygen and it loses all the desirable volatile aroma and the flavor which is very important in case of coffee. So it needs to be packed immediately as soon as the powder is ready. It cannot be left open in the environment. So the fresh coffee which is made that produces a very high level of carbon dioxide and that is created during this roasting process and most of it is removed during the grinding process but still this carbon dioxide is tapered between uh, the powder and it is slowly released when the packaging is completed. Uh, but currently most of the coffee is being packed hermetically. Right. So in that case, what happens? There is no grinding process involved. So immediately after the roasting process, it is packed and sealed. And that time there is no carbon dioxide escaping. So what happens? Carbon dioxide is completely released in the packaging material. And that will the carbon dioxide will be built up and it will eventually lead to bursting of that particular uh, material which is used for that packaging purpose. So the solution that they have come up with is one-way wall. So this is incorporated into the packaging material itself, which will allow the excess of carbon dioxide that is released uh, to be removed from the packet. So at, in that case, this is the one solution that is using the one wall, one-way wall, whereas even the carbon dioxide scavenger or uh, both the oxygen scavenger and the carbon dioxide scavenger together is also used to remove the carbon dioxide. So it's, it, it can be used in the combination as well. So now let's see what are they made of. They are made of cal calcium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide and calcium oxide or silica gel. So usually the presence of this carbon dioxide, uh, it will react with the hydroxide present and it will form carbonates. So you need to remember these examples. So it can be asked in uh, the MCQs or multiple choice questions in case of uh, the FSSA exam. Uh, let's take one more example. 
like uh, which is similar to coffee that is fruits and vegetables so we all know that during the respiration of the fresh fruits and vegetables carbon dioxide is generated so it's a result of respiration process even after the harvesting and different rate of respiration holds true for different products like uh, there will be definitely a difference between the respiration rate uh, from vegetable to vegetable fruit to fruit and ultimately in all the cases the carbon dioxide within that package um, a packaging material the it will increase right so this increase in this carbon dioxide will lead to the tissue damage discoloration package will collapse like similarly in case of coffee uh, where the packaging material will burst uh, and addition to that with all of these things definitely there will be loss of flavor and odor and there will be uh, way made for the growth of anaerobic microorganisms so ultimately the presence of this carbon dioxide is not favored in case of fruits and vegetables so this is the reason uh, why we need to remove the carbon dioxide in case of fruits and vegetables and also you know why we need to remove carbon dioxide in case of coffee. So now let's see the solution for this in case of fruits and vegetables. So when we talk about the solution for this fruits and vegetables, one is the permeability. So if you're packing only a single fruit or vegetable in a particular packet, packaging material, then uh, you can consider two things. One is the permeability of that uh, packaging material and the respiration rate of that particular fruit or vegetable that you're packing. So this is all good for single product. If you're uh, packing different fruits uh, and vegetables in a single packet, then it will not hold good because each one of them as I told you will have a different respiration rate so in that case we, uh, the shelf life cannot be maintained for a longer time and removing this carbon dioxide will be quite difficult in that case and the second solution as you know using the carbon dioxide scavenger which is again incorporated in the packaging material itself to rem it which, which helps in removing the excess carbon dioxide that is produced So here are a few uh, companies which have developed uh, these emitters and scavengers. So one of them is Oxyfresh and uh, it has produced and it is developed a combined oxygen emitter and carbon dioxide scavenger which is required for fresh produce. That is we need oxygen for proper respiration and uh, the, the excess amount of carbon dioxide produced needs to be removed in case of fresh produce so for that this oxyfresh company they have formed a combined version of both the things so again these will be available uh, in a sachet form which will be put into the packaging material so as i told this oxyfresh what it does is it complements the respiration of the produce by replenishing the oxygen that is by replacing the oxygen uh, it will introduce more oxygen that is by emitters and it will remove the carbon dioxide that is excessively formed after the respiration process from the fresh produce and that is how uh, the fresh produce uh, will extend the shelf life. So now we are going to talk about carbon dioxide emitters. So first we need to know what is the reason why we need this. So one major problem uh, to avoid the one major problem that is pack collapse or development of partial vacuum. So this is the problem which is usually seen in the modified atmosphere. So it, it might create a partial vacuum or uh, it will also lead to pack collapse. So this is the issue for which a uh, carbon dioxide emitters are used. But how is this issue created? So we all know that carbon dioxide is highly soluble in case of fat and moisture within the product and this leads to this leads the pack, packaging material to collapse because there is a 
or dissolution of this carbon dioxide in these fats and moisture which is present in the food product and it will generate the need of generating carbon dioxide because all the carbon dioxide that is present it will get dissolved and the the, the level of that carbon dioxide will reduce and that's how the demand for this carbon dioxide in that particular packaging material is created so now we know uh, the need of carbon dioxide emitters so they are also available in the form of sachets and labels so this presence of these emitters will reduce uh, or completely avoid the pack collapse or the development of this partial vacuum and they are available in the form of ferrous carbonate or mixture of ascorbic acid along with sodium bicarbonate is used as carbon dioxide emitters also this uh, sodium bicarbonate along with the citric acid and moisture will produce this carbon dioxide so you need to remember these two as an example as i told you for carbon dioxide scavenger so for emitters you need to remember these um, compounds and also ascorbic acid absorbs the oxygen and it will release the equivalent amount of carbon dioxide when it is with sodium hydroxide carbonate so so now let's see the application part so as i told you in the beginning coffee battered goods cheese as well as the fresh and dehydrated meat and poultry products so dual carbon dioxide emitters and oxygen scavenger that is addition of carbon dioxide and removal of oxygen these are used in case of bakery goods nuts and crisps that is the fried products so this company gives a dual carbon dioxide em emitter and scavenger which is comprised of non iron formula so this has been discussed in part 1 as well uh, so you go through the part 1 video where uh, the iron based formula and non iron based formula which is used for oxygen scavenger has been discussed so this is a dual purpose as i told uh, it will emit carbon dioxide and it will remove the oxygen scavenger so it is developed by mitsubishi gas chemicals uh, so one more company is fresh packs rm which is which also produces dual action oxygen scavenger and the carbon dioxide emitter and it is also available in sachet or label form so basically you should know uh, why is this carbon dioxide emitter or uh, the scavenger is being used and which particular products they apply for because that is mainly asked in the exam like what is the application part and sometimes if they want a depth question then you, you need to know the reason and reason if you know the understanding is much easier and there is less requirement for remembering uh, the example so if you know you now you know easily like for coffee and fresh products it is uh, the oxygen scavenger so even in case of if you have if you don't remember in an exam you can just use the elimination method in mcqs if you at least know this much of basics so similarly uh, read all the examples and what exactly the scavengers and the emitters are made from so that is all about carbon dioxide scavenger and emitters so do watch the previous video on oxygen scavenger as well if you haven't subscribed the channel please do it and hit the bell icon so that whenever there is a new video uploaded on this channel it will be notified to you thanks for watching please do connect with food feeds on other platforms that is instagram and telegram for frequent updates thank you